United States District Court, Southern District of New York, United States of America, v. Eric Adams, Defendant. Sealed Indictment. 24 Kiar. 24 R.E. Ace Crim. 556. Overview. L. In 2014, Eric Adams, the defendant, became Brooklyn Borough President. Thereafter, for nearly a decade, Adams sought and accepted improper valuable benefits, such as luxury international travel, including from wealthy foreign business people and at least one Turkish government official seeking to gain influence over him. By 2018, Adams, who had by then made known his plans to run for mayor of New York City, not only accepted but sought illegal campaign contributions to his 2021 mayoral campaign, as well as other things of value from foreign nationals. As Adams's prominence and power grew, his foreign national benefactors sought to cash in on their C01 RNPT relationships with him, particularly when, in 2021, it became gall clear that Adams would become New York City's mayor. Adams agreed, providing favorable treatment in exchange for the illicit benefits he received. After his inauguration as mayor of New York City, Adams soon began preparing for his next election, including by planning to solicit more illegal contributions and granting requests from those who supported his 2021 mayoral campaign with such donations. 2. Eric Adams, the defendant, sought and accepted illegal campaign contributions in the form of nominee or straw contributions, meaning that the true contributors conveyed their money through nominal donors who falsely certified they were contributing their own money. By smuggling their contributions to Adams through U.S.-based straw donors, Adams's overseas contributors defeated federal laws that served to prevent foreign influence on U.S. elections. Wealthy individuals evaded laws designed to limit their power over elected officials by restricting the amount any one person can donate to a candidate. And businesses circumvented New York City's ban on corporate contributions by funneling their donations through multiple employees, frustrating a law that seeks to reduce corporate power in politics. Adams increased his fundraising by accepting these concealed illegal donations at the cost of giving his secret patrons the undue influence over him that the law tries to prevent. The seat. 3. Eric Adams, the defendant, compounded his gains from the straw contributions by using them to defraud New York City and steal public funds. New York City has a matching yes funds program that matches small dollar contributions from individual city residents with up to eight times their amount in public funds to give New Yorkers a greater dot voice in elections. Adams's campaigns applied for matching funds based on known straw donations fraudulently, obtaining as much as $2,000 in public funds for each illegal contribution. Adams and those whirling at his direction falsely certified compliance with applicable campaign finance regulations. Despite Adams's repeated acceptance of straw donations, relying on the concealed nature of these illegal contributions to falsely portray his campaigns as law-abiding. As a result of those false certifications, Adams's 2021 mayoral campaign received more than $10 million in public funds. 4. Eric Adams, the defendant, also sought and received other improper benefits from some of the same co-conspirators who funneled straw donations to his campaigns. In Sauri, particular, a senior official in the Turkish diplomatic establishment, the Turkish official, who facilitated many straw donations to Adams, also arranged for Adams and his companions to receive free or discounted travel on Turkey's national airline, the Turkish airline, which is, year two, owned in significant part by the Tuch government, to destinations including France, China, Sri Lanka, India, Hunga One Guy, and Turkey itself. The Turkish official and other Turkish nationals, further, arranged for Adams and his companions to receive, among other things, free rooms at opulent hotels, free meals at high-end restaurants, and free luxurious entertainment while in Turkey. 5. Eric Adams, the defendant and others working at his direction, repeatedly took steps to shield his solicitation and acceptance of these benefits from public scrutiny. Adams did not disclose the travel benefits he had obtained and annual financial disclosures he was required to file as a New York City employee. Sometimes Adams agreed to pay a nominal fee to create the appearance of having paid for travel that was in fact heavily discounted. Other times Adams created and instructed others to create fake paper trails, falsely suggesting that he had paid 
0-1. Plan to pay for travel benefits that were actually free, and Adams deleted messages with others involved in his misconduct, including in one instance, assuring a co-conspirator in writing that he always deleted her messages. When you a six, in September 2021, the Turkish official told Eric Adams, the defendant, that it was his tum to repay the Turkish official by pressuring the New York City Fire Department, FDNY, to facilitate the opening of a new Turkish consular building, a 36-story skyscraper, without a FAE inspection, in time for a high-profile visit by Turkey's president. At the time, the Adar building would have failed an FDNY inspection in exchange for free travel and other travel, related bribes in 2021 and 2022 arranged by the Turkish official, Adams did as instructed. Because of Adams's pressure on the FDNY, the FDNY official responsible for the FDNY's assessment of the skyscraper's fire safety was told that he would lose his job if he failed to acquiesce. And after Adams intervened, the skyscraper opened as requested by the Turkish official. Wa 3. New York City's Public Matching Funds Program. 7. The New York City Campaign Finance Board, CFB, oversees and administers a publicly funded campaign finance system for municipal elections in New York City, including a matching funds program, the matching funds program that provides eligible candidates with public funds to match small dollar contributions from New York City residents, matching funds. The matching funds program is intended to incentivize candidates to finance their campaigns by engaging with average New Yorkers instead of seeking large contributions from a limited number of influential donors and to empower more candidates to run for office, even without access to wealth. For mayoral candidates in the 2021 and 2025 election cycles, the Yield Matching Funds program operated as relevant here in the following manner. A. Candidates that collected a minimum number of contributions and raised a minimum amount of qualifying contributions from New York City residents were eligible to opt into the matching funds program. B. Candidate that opted into the matching funds program were required to file a signed and notarized certification attesting, among other things, that they understood that they were responsible for reading, understanding, and complying with, and ensuring their campaign's compliance with various statutes and rules that submitting fraudulent claims for matching funds or otherwise furnishing false information to the CFB would constitute a yell, fundamental breach of the obligations affirmed as PA 1T of the C1tification, and that, in the event of such a breach, they would be ineligible to receive additional matching funds and would be required to return all matching funds previously received. C. The matching funds program would provide up to $8 in matching funds for each $1 of eligible contributions up to $250 from New York City residents. In other words, four for each eligible contribution of at least $250, a participating candidate could collect up to $2,000 in matching funds. The matching funds program would provide up to $12,952,888 in matching funds for qualifying mayoral candidates during the primary and general elections in the 2021 election cycle and up to $14,101,334 in matching funds for qualifying mayoral candidates during uh, the primary and general elections in the 2025 election cycle. D. Certain kinds of contributions were prohibited entirely, including I. Straw. Contributions. Two. Contributions from a person who was not a United States citizen or a lawful, permanent resident of the United States. Three contributions from foreign entities and organizations. IV contributions from corporations. And V contributions that were made, received, solicited, or otherwise obtained in violation of any local, state, or federal law. E. Through its campaign finance handbook, the CFB informed candidates and their campaign staff that straw contributions were not only prohibited, but also illegal. F. Candidates that opted into the matching funds program were required to regularly submit to the CFB disclosum statements that, among other things, identified all contributions received during a particular reporting period, regardless of whether those contributions were eligible for matching funds. These disclosure statements were required to be submitted electronically by either the candidate 
or the campaign's treasurer using a unique login. In order to submit a disclosure statement, the filer was required to I identify him or herself as either the candidate or the treasurer and Dower to electronically sign a verification stating this disclose them statement is true and correct to the best of my knowledge, information, and belief and understand that by clicking verify below, I am electronically signing my disclosure statement, which shall have the same validity and effect as a signature affixed by hand. 5. ACEI Eric Adams, the defendant, was aware that the law prohibited foreign conduit and corporate contributions. At least as early as 2018, Adams began raising money to fund his first mayoral campaign, the 2021 campaign. In September 2019, Adams submitted the required certification to opt into the matching funds program. During the 2021 election cycle, Adams and persons acting at his direction regularly submitted and signed disclosure statements, attesting to the veracity of the information being provided to the CFB. Adams won his party's EOA primary election in July 2021 and was elected mayor in November 2021. While serving as mayor, Adams again opted into the matching funds program and began fundraising for his 2025 Seatsayer re-election campaign, the 2025 campaign, and together with the 2021 campaign, the adams size campaigns, continuing at least to the date of this indictment. Adams travels to Turkey and begins accepting illegal campaign contributions and personal benefits. Minda, within a year of becoming Brooklyn Borough President, Eric Adams, the worst defendant, began building relationships with foreign nationals who were seeking influence with him. In the years that followed, Adams solicited and knowingly accepted illegal campaign contributions and improper personal benefits from those foreign nationals. In 2015, Adams travels to Turkey and establishes corrupt relationships. 10. In 2015, Eric Adams, the defendant, took two official trips to Turkey. His first trip in August 2015 was arranged by the Turkish Consulate General in New York City, the TM Kish Consulate, and paid for in part by the Turkish Consulate and in PA1T by a for-profit educational conglomerate based in Istanbul, the Turkish University. The second trip in December 2015 was arranged by the Turkish official and a Turkish entrepreneur, the promoter, whose business includes organizing events to introduce Turkish corporations and business people to politicians, celebrities, and others whose influence may benefit the corporations and six business people. For both trips, Adams received free business class tickets on the Turkish airline. Unlike Adams's subsequent travel with the Turkish airline, Adams Rep. 01 Ted, his 2015, travel to Turkey on financial disclosure forms filed with the New York City Conflict of Interest Board, the COIB, as he was required to do annually at all times relevant to this indictment. NT 11. The 2015 travel to Turkey by Eric Adams, the defendant, involved several people relevant to events described in this indictment, including A. The Turkish official, who helped arrange Adams's travel to and within Turkey in 2015, and who later steered illegal contributions and improper gifts to Adams to gain influence with and, eventually, to obtain caught-tupped official action from Adams. B. The promoter, who arranged straw contributions to both of the Adams, campaigns and favorable treatment in Turkey for Adams in 2017 and 2019, hoping to leverage Adams's considerable fame in Turkey to benefit the promoter's clients. C the owner and chairman of the Turkish University, businessman I, who met with Adams in Istanbul in 2015 and again in Brooklyn, New York in 2018, businessman Y, who was considering a business venture in Brooklyn and also sought to enhance his own status by befriending Adams, later made illegal contributions to the 2021 campaign. D, a volunteer at Brooklyn Borough Howe, the Adams staffer, who then, served as Adams's liaison to Eastern Europe Muslim countries, including Turkey. The Adams staffer subsequently became a paid member of Adams's staff at Borough Hall and, later, City Hall. The Adams staffer accompanied Adams on his 2015 travel to Turkey and later, at Adams's direction, coordinated many of the illegal campaign contributions and improper personal travel benefits relevant to this indictment. 7. E a wealthy Turkish businesswoman, the businesswoman, who later gave 
Adam's multiple free or steeply discounted stays in a luxury hotel she owned, and organized contributions to the 2021 campaign. In 2016, Adam secretly begins accepting free luxury travel. 12. After Eric Adams, the defendant, first traveled to Turkey in 2015, the Turl GIE official introduced Adams to the Turkish Airlines general manager in the New York City area, the airline manager. In 2016 and twice in 2017, Adams solicited and accepted free and heavily discounted luxury air travel from the Turkish airline as part of the Turkish officials' efforts to gain influence over Adams on three separate trips. A. In October 2016, Adams and his domestic partner, Adams's partner, traveled to India. Adams's partner purchased economy class tickets for herself and Adams on the Turkish airline for approximately $2,286 two days before their flight was scheduled to depart. Adams accepted upgrades for himself and his partner by the Turkish airline to business class at no cost. Business class is the highest class offered by the Turkish airline. Had Adams and his partner purchased their business class tickets, the tickets would have cost approximately $15,000 total. B. In July and August 2017, Adams, a close relative of Adams, the Adams relative, and a member of Adams's staff, who has served as Adams's liaison to the Asian Asian American communities in New York City. The Adams liaison traveled to Nice, France, Istanbul, Turkey, Colombo, Sri Lanka, and Beijing, China. Adams accepted free business class tickets from the Turkish airline, worth more than $35,000 total for himself and his companions. C. In October 2017, Adams and the Adams liaison traveled to Nepal through Istanbul and Beijing. Adams accepted free business class tickets from the Turkish airline for eight himself and the Adams liaison for the flights from New York to Istanbul and Istanbul to Beijing and for the corresponding return flights worth more than $16,000 total. 13. Because the Turkish airline provided free travel benefits, WO won the tens of thousands of dollars to Eric Adams, the defendant. He flew the Turkish airline even when doing so was otherwise inconvenient. For example, during the July and August 2017 trip, Adams's partner was surprised to learn that Adams was in Turkey when she had understood him to be flying from New York to France. Adams responded in a text message, transferring here, you know first, stop is always ins. Tambo, sick. When Adams's partner later inquired about planning a trip to Easter Island, Chile, Adams repeatedly asked her whether the Turkish airline could be used for their flights, requiring her to call the Turkish airline to confirm that they did not have routes between New York and Chile. 14. Eric Adams, the defendant, also accepted valuable travel and hospitality benefits for himself and his companions during their time in Turkey. For example, during a stay in Istanbul during the July and August 2017 trip, Adams, the Adams relative, and the Adams, Liaison accepted a heavily discounted stay at the St. Regis Istanbul, arranged by the promoter. The St. Regis Istanbul is owned by the businesswoman who sought to ingratiate herself with T Adams. Adams stayed in the Bentley Suite, portions of which are depicted here. 9. Bentley Suite Bedroom, Bentley Suite Bathroom. Although booking the Bentley Suite for two nights would have cost approximately $7,000, Adams paid a total of S than $600. 15 in order to conceal the valuable flight, hotel, and other travel benefits that Eric Adams, the defendant, accepted from foreign nationals seeking influence over him, he did not disclose any of these trips on his annual disclosure forms, despite a legal requirement to do so. A. By law, certain New York City elected officials and candidates for elected DR office are required to file annual reports with the corn disclosing their financial information and outside positions and interests as well as those of their spouses or domestic partners and unemancipated children. The purpose of the annual disclosure law is to provide transparency to ensure that there are no prohibited conflicts of interest between public servants' official duties and their private interests. B. At all times relevant to this indictment, Adams was an elected New York City official required to file annual disclosure forms with the COIB. Ah, C on his 2016 and 2017 corn annual disclosure forms, Adams was asked 
whether he had received any gift or gifts from the same person, entity, or donor or affiliated donors who had no business dealings with the city, other than a relative, in the total amount or with a total value of $1,000 more during the year. Adams answered no. Adams also answered no to a similar question, asking whether he had received any gifts worth $50 or more from a person, entity, donor, or affiliated donors who did have business with New York City. D. The valuable travel benefits Adams solicited and accepted, including the free business class upgrade for two for travel from New York to India, the free business class, tickets for three from New York to France, Turkey, Sri Lanka, and China, the heavily discounted stay in the Bentley suite, and the free business class tickets for two from New York to China through Turkey for each of the 2016 and 2017 trips described in paragraphs 12 through 14 each, 11, exceed $1,000 in value, as would be obvious to anyone who, like Adams, had extensive experience traveling overseas. Wire 16. Eric Adams, the defendant, also sought to conceal the luxury travel benefits he solicited and accepted from foreign nationals by creating fake paper trails, which members of Adams's staff assisted in at his direction. For example, Adams attempted to create a fake paper trail suggesting he had paid for his 2017 flights on the Turkish airline, when in fact he had not. A. As Mocklenbama president, Adams employed a scheduler, the Adams scheduler, who managed his appointments, meetings, and other official events. Despite uh, her status as a New York City employee, the Adams scheduler was used by Adams to perform personal tasks for him, such as collecting rent at a Brooklyn property he owned. Adams also assigned the Adams scheduler to pay various personal expenses for him, after which Adams would reimburse the Adams scheduler in cash. B. In 2017, Adams sent a series of emails to the Adams scheduler, directing the Adams scheduler to pay for the free 2017 flights he and his companions had Alertilda Adi taken on, the Turkish airline. But the emails provided inconsistent explanations. In some, Adams suggested that the Adams scheduler should pay by using Adams's credit card, while in others, Adams claimed to have left cash in an envelope for the Adams scheduler to send to the Turkish airline. C. For example, on November 25, 2017, Adams sent an email to the Adams scheduler saying that with respect to the July trip, meaning the July and August 2017 trip on the uh, Turkish airline, I left you the money for the international airline in an envelope in your top desk. Draw receipt. Please send it to them. Given the cost of the international business class tickets for Adams alone, Adams's email suggested that he left, at a minimum, well over $10,000 in cash. 12 in the Adams scheduler's desk drawn were to send to the Turkish airline as payment for flights taken months earlier. He did not do that, as records from the Turkish airline confirm that Adams did not pay the airline in cash or otherwise because the tickets were complimente. 17. In Retnern for travel benefits, the Turkish official provided or arranged in or about 2015 and 2016, Eric Adams, the defendant granted a political request from the Turkish official prior to Adams' 2015 travel to Turkey, which Adams knew and disclosed to the EOYB, had been funded by, among other entities, the Turkish consulate, the Turkish airline, and ye, three separate municipalities in Turkey. Adams had maintained a relationship with a Turkish community center in Brooklyn, the community center. In or about 2016, the Turkish official, told Adams that the community center was affiliated with a Turkish political movement that was hostile to Turkey's government and that if Adams wished to continue receiving supplement from the Turkish government, Adams could no longer associate with the community center. Adams acquiesced. Adams begins accepting SDMBU contributions and continues to receive luxury TMVL benefits. 18. By 2018, Eric Adams, the defendant, began raising funds for the 2021 campaign. Adams was closely involved in the details of fundraising, which he regarded as vital to his success. As he texted a close supporter later in the campaign, you win the race by raising money, have to raise money. Everything else is fluff. Adams further explained, I have wool, a $7 million race. I have a clear plan to raise it. And each night we are out executing the plan. Throughout the 2021 campaign, 
Adams solicited and unknowingly accepted straw donations, including from foreign sources, while continuing to secretly accept free and heavily discounted travel benefits from the Turkish official, the promoter, and the airline manager. 13. I. 19. As part of these efforts, Eric Adams, the defendant, solicited and knowingly accepted straw donations to the 2021 campaign that were facilitated by the Turkish official and the airline manager, among others. A. Beginning at least as early as April 201-8, Adams asked the airline manager to fundraise for the 2021 campaign and the airline manager sought to organize a fundraiser. B. On June 14, 2018, the Turkish official exchanged messages with the Adams staffer asking how much can companies donate? 1. The Adams staffer explained that only individuals could donate to the 2021 campaign. C. On June 22, 2018, Adams attended a fundraiser for the 2021 campaign. The airline manager, among others, organized and attended the event. Following the event, the e Turkish official messaged the Adams staffer asking for the list of the participants of the June 22 uh, meeting. The Adams staffer then sent the Turkish official the list for June 22, 18, which included the names of various persons who donated to the 2021 campaign in the preceding days or who donated in the following days, raising in excess of $15,000. D. A promotional flyer for the June 22, 2018 fundraiser listed as one of the uh, fundraiser's hosts a friend of the airline manager who owned an airport transportation business. Businessman 2, in a series of messages exchanged with the Adams staffer, Businessman 2 stated that he had facilitated a straw donation through an associate. Records from the CFB show that the associate ultimately donated $3,000 in his own name and described himself as unemployed. Many of the conversations quoted in this indictment, including this conversation between the Adams staffer and the Turkish official, were held in a language other than English. 1420. Eric Adams, the defendant, also sought to arrange for his campaigns to receive unlawful contributions from Turkish nationals, which would be routed through U.S. based straw donors. AA. On June 22, 2018, the same day as the fundraising event just described, the Adams staffer and the promoter discussed by text message a possible trip by Adams to Turkey. The promoter stated in part, Fundraising in Turkey is not legal, but I think I can raise money for your campaign off the record. The Adams staffer inquired, how will Adams I'd declare that money here? The promoter responded, he won't declare it or will make the donation through an American citizen in the U.S. A Turk, I'll give cash to him in Turkey or I'll send it to an American. He will make a donation to you. The Adams staffer replied, I think he wouldn't get involved in such games. They might cause a big stink later on, but I'll ask anyways. The Adam staffer then asked, how much do you think would come from you? The promoter responded, max $1.00K. The Adam staffer wrote, L00K. Do you have a chance to transfer that here? We can't do it while Eric is in Turkey. To which the promoter replied, let's think. After this conversation, the Adam staffer asked Adams whether the Adam Staffer should pursue the unlawful foreign contributions offered by the promoter, and, contrary to the Adam Staffy's expectations, Adams directed that the Adam Staffer pursue the promoter's illegal scheme, I. In November 2018, businessman I, the wealthy Turkish national who owned the Turkish University, a for-profit educational conglomerate in Turkey, and whom Adams met there in 2015, visited New York City. Adams and the Adams staffer met with Businessman 1 at Brooklyn Borough Hall. At the close of the meeting, Businessman I offered to contribute funds to the 2021 campaign. Although Adams knew that Businessman Y was a Dadi Dia 15 Turkish national who could not lawfully contribute to U.S. elections, Adams directed the Adams staffer to obtain the illegal contributions offered by Businessman 1. Following up on this directive, Adams wrote to the Adams staffer that Businessman I is ready to help. I don't want his willing to help be wasted sick. As Adams directed, the Adams staffer maintained contact with businessman one through intermediaries, culminating in Adams accepting straw donations of businessman wise money discussed below. 21. 
In 2018, Eric Adams, the defendant, also continued to secretly solicit and accept free and heavily discounted luxury travel benefits provided by the Turkish official and the airline manager. J. In January 2018, Adams and Adams's partner traveled to Budapest, Hungary, through Istanbul. Several months earlier, Adams's partner had purchased two economy class tickets on the Turkish airline for approximately $560 each. In December 2017, the Adams staffer, acting at Ah Adams's direction, asked the airline manager to upgrade the tickets to business class, which he did for free. Had Adams and Adams's partner purchased their business class tickets, the tickets would have cost more than $14,000 total. Consistent with his prior actions, Adams concealed this free and heavily discounted travel the Turkish airline provided by omitting it from his 2018 COJB disclosure form, despite the requirement to report it. As the 2021 mayoral election approaches, Adams continues to solicit and accept illegal campaign contributions. In 2019, Adams travels to Istanbul and solicits foreign contributions. 22. In January 2019, Eric Adams, the defendant, and Adams's partner traveled to Turkey, Jordan, and Oman with the assistance of the promoter. Because Adams made his travel arrangements through the promoter and not throng the airline manager, the airline manager did not upgrade Adams's economy class tickets on the Turkish airline, instead arranging a full um upgrade only for Adams's partner. Had Adams's partner purchased her business class ticket, it is 16 would have cost at least approximately $7,000. In an effort to monopolize flight travel as a method of gaining influence with Adams, the airline manager observed that difficulty arose in upgrading Adams because the arrangements had been made through others. When exchanging that messages about another potential trip later in 2019, the Adams staffer requested an upgrade for Adams from the airline manager and explained in part that he learned his lesson last time we're writing directly to you this time. After the 2019 trip, Adams exclusively A-tanked his flights on the Turkish airline through the airline manager, allowing the airline manager, the EEA Turkish official, and the Turkish government to increase their influence over Adams. Y.E. 23. During his 2019 trip, Eric Adams, the defendant, solicited and accepted travel, benefits from the promoter, the Turkish entrepreneur who, as described above, facilitated Adams' second 2015 trip to Turkey, and in 2018, proposed to Adams via the Adams staffer. Raising campaign contributions illegally in Turkey, specifically, Adams solicited and accepted free hotel stays, dinners, and a boat trip, among other things, from the promoter, including a free two-night stay in the cosmopolitan suite of the St. Regis Istanbul, depicted below. Wire cosmopolitan suite living room, 17, cosmopolitan suite bedroom, had Adams paid for a two-day stay in this luxury suite, the cost would have been approximately $3,000 total. Adams also solicited and accepted from the promoter free transportation, meals, and entertainment, including a car and driver, a boat tour to the Prince's Islands in the Sea of Aguaya, Marmara, a Turkish bath at a seaside hotel, and at least one meal at a high-end restaurant. 24. Eric Adams, the defendant, did not report any of the free travel benefits he received during his 2019 stay in Istanbul on his 2019 COIB disclosure form. 25. Eric Adams, the defendant, also solicited unlawful foreign campaign contributions while in Istanbul in January 2019. During Adams's trip, the promoter arranged for Adams to meet a wealthy Turkish businessman, Businessman 3, the Turkish official, through the Adams staffer discouraged Adams from meeting Businessman 3, who was then under suspicion of wrongdoing. Adams did so nonetheless. During their meeting, Adams and I, the promoter, solicited campaign contributions from Businessman 3, who, as a Turkish national, could not lawfully contribute to any U.S. campaign. During the meeting, Businessman 3 agreed 18.